Holly here, <laughs> ready for a little story time. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take it back this time a little bit. Okay. Back to 1975. Mm -hmm. I was 18 years old. And uh, that was the year, that was the year Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes had that hit Bad Luck. Harry and the Blue Notes? Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, 1975. <clears throat> Bad Luck. I remember that summer well. I said, you know, I remember, anyway, I remember hanging out in the park, 143, where we grew up at. You know, we grew up in that park, actually, when we got... 16, 17, 18, we were selling weed in that park. Yeah. And whatever. So this particular summer, there was a drought. There was no weed in New York City. There was no weed. What like, was the cause of that? I don't know the cause, because I, I I don't know. I don't, I don't know the cause. Mm -hmm. All I know is that for a good period of time, I don't remember how long, but it was like, <clears throat> it was going on weeks. <clears throat> It was going on weeks. It might have been a couple months. I really don't remember how long it was. I just remember that there was no weed nowhere. Not in Brooklyn, not in Harlem, nowhere. Yeah. So, I was 18, as I said, and this story actually takes, this, this story, there was two other participants in this story that are well known to people who know me from Corona. One was Tracy Segree, my cousin Tracy. Mm -hmm. And the other one was, uh, may he rest in peace, Kevin Jones, known as KK. Mm -hmm. So Tracy was 18, I was 18, Kevin was 17. <clears throat> there was no weed around, so we're going to rent a car. We're going to go on an adventure. <laughs> it's going to be our first time leaving. It's going to be our first time going out of the city, going somewhere. Without it, without I'm gonna say without adults. This is our first time going out on our own. Mm -hmm. We rented a car. I don't even remember how we got to rent a car at 18, but we rented a car, <laughs> and we headed to D.C. And the plan was we're gonna go down to D.C. and we're gonna hang out, but we're going down there to find some weed. The plan was to go down there and find some weed, like a pound of weed. <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, so we go to D.C. We rent the car. We head out to D. We get to D.C. Check into the hotel, mm -hmm. hotel diplomat. Hotel diplomat. So we check in, and uh, you know it's our first time hanging out. We eighteen. Was it a nice hotel? We're gonna get to that in a minute. <laughs> so, I mean, we thought it was we thought it was cool. You yeah. know, it was like we thought it was all right. So, what are we gonna do? We young, we hanging out, first time. Mm -hmm. Let's go down and see what the prostitutes are doing. So we go hanging down, we go heading down that way, go go down to go down the stroll, see what's going on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we down there messing with the prostitutes, trying to talk to them. And we're trying to get them to come back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. So they said, well, where are you staying at? We staying at the diplomat. Oh hell no, we ain't going there. <laughs> yo, even yo, even the pro they said, no, nah, we ain't going to the diplomat. Wow. So anyway, so we end up back at the diplomat hotel. We got a a bottle, of, a bottle of rum. Mm -hmm. We hanging out, Tracy, Kevin, and I. We hanging out by the pool. We there for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we hanging out by the pool. A little side note to the story. So we hanging out by the pool one day, and uh, Kevin bets Tracy twenty dollars that he won't. That nobody else is at the pool. We the only ones there. But it is, the, but it is daytime. Mm -hmm. Kevin bets Tracy twenty dollars that he won't jump in the pool without a swimming trunk so he won't dive in the pool <laughs> so Tracy tried to get that 20 dollars he comes out, comes out of his trunks and dives straight in the pool and Kevin grabbed his trunks and, and our, whole, uh, our, our room wasn't right next to the pool you gotta like go a little distance Kevin took the trunks and ran straight back to the room straight, so Tracy had to run, run through the run through the grounds of the hotel Run through the ground of the hotel, holding on to himself, uh, and then run back to the room. So anyway, that was a little side note. So anyway, <laughs> so we hung out in DC. We hung out in DC for like about three, four days. Couldn't find no weed. There was a drop down there also. We searched around, couldn't find no weed. Mm -hmm. So now we headed back to New York. We've been down there four days. We rented the car for a week. So we headed back to New York, and we see the sign. We're coming up 95, 
and we see we see the sign Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, you know, we young, we ain't never been. Let's go see Philadelphia. Why we got the car? Uh, you know, we got three days left on the car. We got we got we got we got, we got a few hundred still left in our pockets. Mm -hmm. Like we ain't spent no crazy money anyway. We, we got a few hundred in our pocket. Mm -hmm. Pound pound of weed back then was like four and change. <laughs> so anyway, so we <clears throat> so we said let's go to Philadelphia. So we so we head off into Philly, riding around, and we went by a park because back when we were younger. You always went to the park. Like in New York, you can go to any park and find somebody selling some weed. Mm -hmm. So we went to the park in Philly, <clears throat> and we found a guy selling a bag of weed. So we bought it, and we smoked it. We hung it out. We smoked the bag of weed, whatever. So now we're back in the car. We're riding around. Now we're down in Center City, downtown Philadelphia. We're riding around, and it's getting evening. <laughs> and, and, and and we still looking for some weed. We still looking for some more weed. More weed now. So, so, <laughs> so we pull up to this red light, and there's these two dudes, these two these two brothers, in the car next to us. They drinking a bottle of wine or something. Mm -hmm. They 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 just chilling in the car at the red light. I think they're drinking a bottle of wine. And yo, y'all know where we get a bag of weed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, you know, follow us. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, we young, we don't, we don't know. <laughs> All right, so we follow this car back to the back to their hood, back to whatever side of Philly we was on. If I know any better now, it was, <laughs> we was in west or north Philly somewhere. I don't know where we was at. <clears throat> anyway, so we pull up. We follow their car. We pull up onto this block. Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of the block. And the guy, there's two of them. The guy gets out the car. Both of them get out the car, whatever. They say, okay, we're going to go up in this. They're going to go up in this building. They'll be right back. <clears throat> they go up in this building, this house, whatever. They go up in this building, and they come back, and they said, "No, nah, I ain't got nothing. We just gotta go back around the corner, right around the corner, be right around the corner." We don't know that when they went up in there, they set us up. They then got the crew, the crew going around this way, and we pulling the car around this way. Mm -hmm. So we drive the car around the, you know, back around the corner, pull up. Like we see some guys hanging out on the corner, down, down, down at the far corner. We see some guys hanging out down there, and we pull up and. Not to, to the corner. We pull up like halfway in the block, pull over in the parking spot. Mm -hmm. And the dude who's supposed to be helping us, he goes to the corner and he comes back and he says, you know, they're a little, you know, a little nervous. They see that out-of-state plate. They want one of y'all to come. To, they want one of y'all to come to the corner. I ain't going nowhere. Well, anyway, <laughs> of course, Tracy... <laughs> I go, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy says, here we go. <clears throat> so Tracy jumped out the car, walked to the corner. Now Tracy a dangerous guy. Tracy, even back then, he, he was always into martial arts and stuff like that. He, 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 he could handle himself. <clears throat> so anyway, they go walking to the corner. And there's about four or five guys on the corner. Tracy goes there. And then they basically all disappear around the corner. We don't see nobody. And then it's going, I don't know how long, five, ten minutes, whatever. A few minutes go by, we don't see nobody. And then they appear back on the corner. We see Tracy. Mm -hmm. Nobody's holding them. I see another, I see one guy leaning against a car. I see another guy somewhere, whatever. I don't see, you know, I don't really see him. I don't see him being physically held or anything. Mm -hmm. But I see him explaining himself with his hands all waving and this and that. What we can't see is... That right around the corner, where the building is, right around the corner, there's a guy pointing a pistol at Tracy. And what we can't see is that the other guy leaning against the car is also pointing a pistol at him. We halfway down the block, we're just looking at them on the corner. So they point pointing pistols at Tracy, telling them, yo, get your boys down here. So, so, so Tra Tracy, you know, <laughs> waves us, tells us to come on, right? <laughs> and they point the pistols at him, he tells us to come on. So, at the time, we had 300 something, we had like $330 on us. Kevin and I in the car. <coughs> so, we had the sense to take, the, we took the 300 out mm -hmm. and we put it in the ashtray of the car, closed the ashtray, mm -hmm. <coughs> and, uh, and we pulled to the corner. And we pulled to the corner, immediately the pistols pointed at us. Get out the car, get out the car. Get out the car. It's a dark corner. 
we, we, we in some hood in Philadelphia, and it's not no bright street lights. It's kind of dim. Looks like it's, I don't know, a bar in the corner or whatever, but look at kind of dim. And we out on the corner, we out on the corner, and they got these two pistols pointed at us, and they tell us, empty your pockets, empty your pockets. So we dropped, we emptied up, we took the money out of pockets and dropped it on the ground, in a, like in a ball. And it looked like, a, looked like a decent amount. And they knew that when we first asked them, the dudes, we asked them about a half a pound. We asked them about some, uh, some weight. I don't know what we asked them. But they knew we had some money on it. And it looked like some nice amount of money was dropped. It was really only $30. Okay. Because it was really only a whole bunch of singles. Okay. I think with a 10 on the outside or whatever. But it was only $30. Because we had $300 we had just put in the ashtray. Yeah. So we dropped the money on the, on the ground. They said, okay, get in your car, get out of here. So as we turned to go get in our car, now our car was double parked on the corner. When we first pulled up, that's when they first pointed the pistols at us, so get out. Mm -hmm. So as we turned to go get in our car, one of their guys is already in our car. And he pulling off. He pulling off across the intersection into the next block. Mm -hmm. And he goes like halfway up the block and he stops the car and I guess puts it in park and he gets out and he starts running back. So he's running back this way. We're running towards our, towards the car, towards this guy. These guys is getting ready to run towards wherever they get ready to run with the yeah. pistols. And this guy that's running back, they see he's like right in line for us to be able to grab him or whatever. Yeah. They start shooting the two pistols at They start emptying their pistols. For real, bullets is flying. Bullets is flying by. We running towards the car. When the bullets start flying, I dove between two cars. Right, okay. so I'm, 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 I'm not running towards our car no more, but I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm out of the way of a lot of fire. Yeah. I dive between these two cars. Tracy and Kev keep running to the car, and I, I guess the other guy ran by wherever, I don't, whatever, because I'm stuck between these two cars. And Tracy gets in the car behind the driver's seat, behind the wheel. Kevin jumps in the passenger side, and Tracy get, Tracy starts to take off. <laughs> And Kev yells, no, no, oh, Tony, no, Tony, no, Tony, 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 Tony. <laughs> yo, this is like a movie, yo. Tra Tracy hits the car in reverse. Now, they, listen, for real, they, bullets are still, I don't, they got two pistols, but bullets are still, like, flying. Okay, it's still, like, the hell going on. This is all, this is all take place in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. Tracy comes, burning rubber back to where I'm at, opens up his door. And I come and dove straight across the one to Kevin's lap. Right? <laughs> and Tracy hits the gas and takes off. So we go around the corner. We take off and go around the corner. And there's a police car there with a single white cop in it. Mm -hmm. And we come pulling up to him. Oh, we just got robbed. We just got robbed. He said, I suggest y'all head on back yeah, to wherever y'all from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so, so we, so, so we, Get, we get away from him, start heading back to the highway or whatever. Tracy says, I think I got shot. I think I got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin and I, I don't know how we knew he didn't get shot, but we yeah. laughed at that. We thought, yo, hey, you ain't get shot. That's just, that's just your pride hurt. Right? So, so Tracy, we're flying. We're doing like 100 miles an hour mm -hmm. on the highway. Mm -hmm. We done got away. I don't know. We 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 ain't got away. We on the highway. Tracy got this thing doing hundred miles an hour. Tracy wanna go back and get him. I said, you kidding me? Yo, they done reloaded them guns. We ain't got no guns. They got they got thirty dollars. Yo, we got three hundred with us. They got thirty. Word. Yo, take me home. Yo, we did like hundred miles an hour straight back to one forty three Queens. 1975, <laughs> baby. And that's story time.